Americans. The Americans are getting a new jet, the A7E. Not that new, of course, we have previous variants of this plane already in the game. However, this specific new version brings a, a new type of ordnance, the AGM-62A Walleye. Think of these like um, Mavericks, essentially, AGM-65s, but they are not missiles. They are gliding bombs, TV-guided bombs, which can actually be used against moving targets as well. Sorry, I'm leaking a little bit too much there. Okay, now I'm going to go into ready mode so you guys can see all the stats and all the good stuff. I'm going to make sure I am in realistic mode this entire time so you guys can look at the stat cards. By the way, this is all very much work in progress. This is a pre-development server. If you see any bugs or any missing loadout options or anything like that, don't worry, this is still not ready for the final release. That's still a few weeks out. <clears throat> okay. A70, bet rating a 10.7. You got quite a few uh, loadout options, pretty much to your heart's desire. You can get up to the AIM 9D if you want to do some air to air combat, but that's not really what this vehicle was designed for. Instead, you have these things over here the AGM 62A. Are you okay, Tom? Yep, I just saw a tap in my chest. Okay. I, I believe it gets the G's as well, does it not? Uh, I don't the believe e. it. The E's, yes, it does the E's. I just get the G as well, if they were the, the cannons. Okay, never mind. Anyway, this is the AGM-62A. Now, I'm going to quickly see if I can show you how they work in a test flight. I'm going to make it arcade mode just because it's easier to take off. Well, not easy, but quicker, if it makes yes. any sense. Yes. All right. Now, uh, if you are unaware, we have a thing called the multifunction menu in this game. It essentially allows you to save a lot on keybinds. You can access various vehicle functions, weapon functions, all that good stuff. Now, what I am particularly interested in is the cockpit settings, which are going to have the target point settings. You can of course go into the AGM camera itself if you want to, but personally I like using the other method just because it's a bit easier to use when you are moving around as well, for example in ground RB. Uh, I sadly do not have any moving targets or at least any moving ground targets on this test flight to be able to show you the capabilities of this gliding bomb, but I should be able to lock on to that SBA over there. Give it a Let's go. see if I can get a lock. Can he do it? Will it work this I'll time? I'll try to. The bomb is tracking. I'm going to release it. These are pretty much drop and forget, by the way. Once you drop the bombs, you don't have to worry about it anymore. You only have to get the lock. The bomb will guide itself, even on a moving target. Uh, this is a TV optical guidance system, which is quite nice. Um, you do, of course, have to get close enough to actually be able to pick up a target. It is not always the easiest thing to do, depending on the conditions. These are pretty much ideal conditions. The tanks are in a wide open field. And we aren't uh, having any obstructions of weather or on any of that stuff, really. Let's see if I can lock on again. And drop the bomb. You can drop them off axis as well from a consider if you want to. The bomb will guide itself. And it allows you to do some interesting ground strike things. Then this... Yes, this is, by the way, not the only uh, new Lord of option. There have been a few additions to the Jaguar A, which we are going to be covering later on, as well as some other planes. 